And joining us now on the Wash U Sports Network is a 2020 Wash U grad, men's cross country and track and field student athlete, Nick Matucci. Nick, how are we doing today? Doing great. Thank you so much, Chris. Nick, we're glad to have you. Prior to St. Louis, Nick, are you still, uh, are you still in St. Louis uh, during COVID-19? I am. Uh, I'm actually in my apartment not far from, uh, from campus, which is exciting. Still uh, get to be around and uh, get to see some friends, even though it has to look a little different. It's nice to still kind of be tied in with the community as a whole. Nick, you were recognized as one of our five student athletes honored at our 34th Annual Scholar Champion Awards celebration under the Department of Athletics mission of impacting lives. You were also presented the Mark Edwards Leadership Award. Nick, talk to me about your role of impacting lives within the men's cross country and track and field teams during your four years at Wash U. Yeah, I mean, that was a huge honor because to me, that's really where I see the bigger importance. You know, I've been fortunate enough to have had some success in track and on the cross country course, but to me to feel to have been recognized as someone who impact life. So that's, I mean, that's huge. And that's something that I'm super honored to do. Tried my best to serve as a captain who uh, helped out the team and who was there for the needs of individuals. Uh, I worked with Bear Cubs too as just a volunteer opportunity and tried to just set things up uh, within the team and just help organize things and help out when it was needed. And mostly just because there were so many who came before me who did those things. And I had some incredible mentors uh, who were, you know, upperclassmen when I was an underclassman who showed me what it looked like to serve the team and to do things when you know people weren't looking and to take over and you know help out in any ways you could and so uh yeah to have been recognized for that was just a huge honor and uh it's just if i could have had an impact that just makes me really happy to know i could have done that nick let's talk a little about your career on and off the track eight-time all-american three-time elite 90 award winner two-time first team off academic All-American. So Nick, talk to me, what was your key to being so successful in the classroom and on the track? Honestly, they kind of are one and the same a little bit. It's really just relying in, in on that community and working with that. Having the, this group has been a really special thing for me. I don't think I would have found nearly as much success in the classroom or on the track or, or on the course as I would have without this community that we have. Uh, the ability to have people when you're, you know, trying to figure something out, you have a group of people you can go to and talk to, you have upperclassmen who have been through it before and can, you know, kind of show you the ropes a little, you know, when you're through a hard race, you have a group that's supporting you and that you're there for. It's not about your individual performance so much as it is, how can I support the team? And that kind of focus in on that really, uh, really makes such a special environment and is what kind of I think allowed for me to find the individual successes that I did but ultimately it was kind of in pursuit of a team uh, a team goal or a team atmosphere or trying to find community and so I truly thank my coaches my teammates the classmates I had uh, just their role in shaping how my uh, experience here at WashU was and it was such a great opportunity to have so many wonderful people that would help me and so many wonderful people that uh, could support me all, throughout all four years. Uh, it, it just made all the difference. Nick, is there one thing that stands out that made your student athlete experience? Uh, obviously, being from St. Louis, you stayed local. What, what, what made it so special? Is there one thing that you could just that stands out to you? I know I, I'm going to be touching on this again, and it's uh, <laughs> but it's that community. It really is that group. Like I, I've really never had something like that. Before. I mean, I've had communities that've been a part of, but nothing that was so deep and so special and went so long. And the fact that alumni were so so connected in with it and would drive and fly from all this to come in and support, and uh, you know, wanting to still be a part of that afterwards, and. Uh, yeah, there's just, it's, there's something so special about this community we found here and uh, that Styles, our coach, uh, absolutely cultivates. And it starts kind of through him, then grows through the athletes and the upperclassmen then become 
hopefully the ones who are arbitrating that and uh, just kind of being people to help bring forth this awesome group that we have. And uh, yeah, to me, that's been the most special part and uh, just having a community that supports you. I mean, it, you can't take it for granted enough. And it's something I'm definitely going to miss uh, going forward. But the nice thing is that alumni have still been able to stay connected with the community. So I hope to be able to do that to some extent. Nick, talk to our fans. Uh, this is my last question for you about, about what Nick Matucci is going to be up to uh, next year. And then maybe we'll talk even following past next year. Yeah. Uh, so my plan will be to go to MIT and I'll be pursuing a PhD in chemical engineering. The goal will be to work on uh, energy storage technologies and uh, primarily some sort of electrochemical battery storage uh, for storing, you know, renewable or something like that. Uh, it's, and it's something I'm really interested in. I see it as a, uh, a really cool area, really cool, interesting set of challenges and problems that uh, it's fascinating and also cool issue that can hopefully, uh, I can hopefully have some part in helping out with. Uh, and I actually might be uh, competing and using my lesson of eligibility uh, there, which is a little weird, I won't lie. Uh, the idea of not putting on a Wash U uniform and competing is definitely something I'm still trying to wrap my head around. But at the same time, I'm grateful to have an opportunity to compete again. Uh, and yeah, I, it'll be weird though if I have to race against Wash U athletes, but uh, I, uh, I'm just getting the opportunity to compete again. Well, Nick, first of all, I wanna say congratulations on a great four years uh, on the cross country and men's indoor and outdoor track and field team. You were also a great scholar champion at Washington University. We wish you nothing but the best at MIT. And I'm gonna be honest, it would be tremendous if I'm watching that NCAA 2021 outdoor championships and it's wash you against nick Petucci on the last lap it would be it would be pretty special i agree thank you so much chris it really means a lot and uh yeah for all of you've done over the past four years it really has made an incredible uh impact nick we wish you the best and good luck moving forward thank you so much chris i really appreciate it